Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Sleepless Ninja and today I'm going to show you a pretty cool app. So a couple weeks ago I did a review on the Nintendo 64 emulator and I had a request for the PlayStation 1 and then soon after the PlayStation app got removed from the market. Um, so this one actually took its place. Um, word is that the reason why that other app got taken off was because it actually had PSX in its name and so trademark and copyright problems and so it was removed due to that reason it had nothing to do with the fact that it was actually a PlayStation emulator one of the cool things about this emulator is you actually can use this on your Xperia but um, the focus right now is going to be on how it runs on the Zoom um, overall it's a it's a pretty uh, cheap app um, about five bucks American 359 euro and uh, the big thing to note about this application though is it requires an extensive setup unlike the other emulators I've gone over the Nintendo 64 one and the Super Nintendo um, there's a huge difference between those and this and it has nothing to do with Nintendo as you all are aware PlayStation 1 is a CD based not cartridge which means it has a lot more space and the developers of course took advantage of this so we're looking from what used to be a 12 megabyte file or 2 megabyte file to something that's 500, 700, and then also if there's multiple disks, you know, you're talking about a couple gigabytes worth of data. So we're also looking at websites who don't want to store all this information. So it's harder to get a hold of these emulators. And what's even harder is to get the, uh, excuse me, it's very hard to get a hold of these ROMs. What's even harder is most of the ROMs, since they're so big, are broken up into pieces. So you actually have to assemble the ROMs together before you can put them on your Zoom and play them. It's kind of frustrating. On top of that, um, be there, you need the actual PlayStation BIOS. Of course, the maker of this could not include the BIOS in his emulator because, you know, he can't sell something with a PlayStation BIOS on it he would get sued. So you have to find that yourself. I will include a link to the, the one that I used and, and it works really well. So let, let's get in it. Let's see, let's see how it goes and I'll, I'll talk more about this um, time to get started and everything because really it took, took o over a day. And if, I mean over a day, maybe three, three or four hours. I, I was doing other things. Anyhow, here it is on the screen it boots up and then here's a list of the ROMs that I have not all of these um, are working but most of them are so we'll, we'll start off with uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater the original I was pretty uh, thrilled uh, to see this and of course like everything um, what, what's kinda nice is you actually can burn your PlayStation discs on your computer and then make an image out of them so that's what I recommend the most I don't have my PlayStation so I was searching the internet but when I when I go back um, in, into my storage, I'll grab my PlayStation discs and I'll try that out and make a video on it. But as you can see, Tony Hawk is loading great. Oh, and one more thing, actually, we're gonna do, we're gonna stop this for a second. Let me uh, turn on the light. Um, ideally, especially with games like this, there are a couple things that you, is just necessary. Being this a PlayStation game, using and getting used to analog, you need you you need a controller. So I have my Wii Classic. I'm just gonna hook it up. So I'm gonna go to my trusty app, and I have this in depth. I'm just gonna briefly go over it. Again, press the button. You can see it's looking to sync. Initial connect. It connect and found it. And then step two, make sure you select the input method as the Wii controller. Close the case up. And then you can just quickly check to see if it's receiving information and it is. Okay, now we're going back. So here we are, Tony Hawk. And then one more thing, you have to set up the key mapping. I'm not going to go into this in depth. You just go into input. You go into uh, hardware keys, because now it's like a keyboard, and then you just select the different values, 
So say we want to do up, and all you have to do is press up, and you see it sets it, okay? So that's all you have to do. You have to key map it like it was a keyboard. Cool. And now it works. So I have it fully key mapped out. Start. Excuse me. I'm going to turn the lights back off for us. Start. Loading memory card data, um, which reminds me again. So in order to have this memory card and be able to fully use the BIOS, you need to set up that file. So once you download that file that I'll specify in a link, you come in here and you do this BIOS loading, you click there, and then you find that file in your directory and you click on it. You might have heard it just bleep a second ago. So when you're in the settings, or when this is paused, um, one of the things that I've noticed is it makes these weird noises, even when the volume's completely off. So, but during the game, for the ROMs that work, it doesn't seem to be that bad. Um, there, there, there isn't really, the audio seems pretty solid. It's just when you're in the, in the settings, does it kind of freak out like that. Even when the application or the activity isn't on the full screen. But you can see selecting and everything works pretty well. What a classic game. And when we load it up, you're going to see something. And this is one of the things what I'm talking about. Even when you have everything set up, there's, there's still work that you have to do. You hear that? And you see that? It is going in kind of a choppy, slow motion. So what can we do about that? Because we don't want to play a game like this. So it actually doesn't mean that the ROM doesn't work. We just go into settings video, frame skip, and you can select frame skip, you know, up to 10, doesn't matter. Um, I've played it around with it a little. I haven't played with it around all the settings to optimize, but I got it working, so I was happy enough with that. And so just by doing that, changing that one setting, and going back, you can see everything is working now and uh, it, it runs really well sound works turned it off just so you can hear my voice and everything is uh, great except uh, of course my playing so you can see overall it, it, it's a pretty effective package you can notice like there's tearing along the walls and the and the, the slow loading on, on some of the features but the game itself is very usable and I, I, you know it's a little distracting but you get used to it and um, you can you, you can still fully use the game and it's and it's a lot of fun um, I've played this one the most um, out of all my ROMs so far because it's, it's a good game to just pick up and play um, just you know go fool around for the two minutes and then you're done. So it's actually a very nice um, app for this game alone on the Zoom. So uh, let's uh, let's check more games out though. Well let's just fast forward through the loading screen for this uh, video game and get right into the content. Start it up. You can see it, it, it runs fairly smooth. No problems whatsoever. So what I'm going to do is, the harder things to put together, I'm going to make separate videos on, on, on how to take care of the ISOs and everything um, for, for future videos. But you can see, overall, this application runs uh, fairly well. It's, it's a little frustrating because, you know, you download a 700 megabyte file, you pack it all together, and then you realize, oh, the ROM doesn't work. So there, you, you, have to, you have to be prepared to put some time in and not get anything out of it for some of the ROMs. And then hopefully by referring and looking at other people's 
um, lists and saying, oh, that ROM worked, oh, that ROM didn't work. Um, you'll, you'll be saving yourself a lot of uh, time. Um, we can go into siphon filter. But uh, fairly, um, I mean, I have seven ROMs right now that are working, and I downloaded 12. Um, the ones that didn't work weren't necessarily because they didn't work in the emulator. It was because the files were corrupted that I downloaded it. So it, there's a lot of pain and struggling. You have to find a BIOS file. You have to get the ROMs. The ROMs are big. Um, the sites are unreliable. They could be corrupted or they could not work on your system. So there's a lot of prepping in that sense and trying to get everything working. So please, in the comments, leave what ROMs have worked on your Zoom. And you can see... Everything runs rather smooth. <laughs> I have to get used to this style game. But it, 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 is a, it is a solid emulator, and it does a really, really good job. Okay, now quickly panning to a new game. Just trying to show you as much as I can in the given uh, time frame. See, it's just running as smooth as it should. Nothing special. It's good old Crash Bandicoot. Got some Final Fantasy. You can see there's some little slowdowns here and there. But overall, the game is preserved. It works fairly well with the controller. That's kind of the key here. So, as you can tell, I show you I showed you quite a little bit of library of games all that I've uh, previously owned in the past and they all run relatively well on the zoom you can hook it up to a projector and then have that console experience with your controller I definitely recommend have have the Wii the Wii Mote with the Wii Classic or some other uh, controller out there um, with with the Bluetooth it just I can't I can't see you just playing with the onboard d-pad the uh, but it, it is a fairly good app but remember you have to put some time into this. It's not easy to just get all the ROMs. It's not easy to make them work and you know you might spend some time putting together a ROM and it might not pan out. So as long as you uh, are willing to deal with some frustration give it a try. Purchase the uh, emulator and enjoy. Thank you everyone. Hope you enjoyed this. Please like if you do. Um, look forward to uh, Future updates on this application is I'll go into how in, how to put together a ROM, um, the, the various uh, places to, to get them, and how how to burn your own PlayStation discs into one.
um, which which is probably the more important to you because it's your own library. Have a great day.